So a couple of months ago, I made a video all about pensions for beginners. And in that video, we discussed what a pension is and the reasons why you should strongly consider having one. However, one issue we didn't discuss in that video is what I like to call the Irish pension problem. The fact of the matter is that Irish people are not doing enough when it comes to investing in their future selves. According to a report published by Irish Life, 90% of employees are not on track for a financially comfortable retirement. There are lots of different reasons as to why this is the case, which we will discuss in this video but in my opinion a large part of it comes down to the fact that people aren't sitting down and asking themselves what lifestyle do I want to live in retirement and what do I need to do today to achieve that. For a lot of people, this isn't a question that's easily answered. The popular Netflix series Explained published an episode dealing with retirement. And in that episode, they explained how psychologically people don't identify with who they'll be in the distant future. It's hard to make monetary sacrifices today for your future self when for all intents and purposes, that future self is a stranger. But as we'll discuss in this video, it's critical that you get over that psychological hurdle and start making decisions to secure your financial future. Before we go any further, could I ask that you take two seconds out of your day to leave a like and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe. To briefly recap on pensions, a pension is simply a tax efficient investment fund. The basic idea is that you make regular contributions to your pension fund over the course of your working life so that when you retire your fund will have grown in value and can now be used as an income source in retirement. Most people get hung up on the word pension and they find it unrelatable and confusing. So what I want you to do is to ignore the word pension and replace it with investment fund. Because when you put money into your pension, depending on what pension you've chosen, your money will be invested into the likes of stocks, bonds and property. I know many of you have gotten involved in the stock market over the course of the last year and the principles associated with pension investing are the exact same. The catch is that with a pension you can't access the funds that you've invested until you reach retirement. But the reason why it's worthwhile doing so is because pension investing is extremely tax efficient. You get tax relief going into the fund, in the fund and coming out of the fund. And over the course of 20, 30 or 40 years, this can result in very sizable investment returns. So why should you care about any of this? Well, let's hypothetically assume that you choose to never invest in a pension fund over the course of your working life. When you reach retirement, you'll naturally stop working and therefore give up your ability to earn a salary. So you're no longer earning money, but your lifestyle won't have changed much between the day before retirement and the day after retirement. And therefore that lifestyle will need to be funded. But remember, there's no longer a salary funding that lifestyle. And if you consider the fact that most humans have a tendency to take on more liabilities and expenses over time, the cost of that lifestyle could be sizable, especially if you're planning on traveling the world and playing golf three or four times a week. Now you could say to me, Dan, by the time I reach retirement, I'll have this much saved up in the bank and that will support me. To that statement, I have some bad news and it comes in two parts, inflation and life expectancy. Inflation catches everyone out because it's hard to conceptualize. The basic principle of inflation states that over time, the purchasing power of your cash will decrease. So while that 10,000 euro in your bank account won't physically go anywhere, in 20 years time, it's going to be worth a hell of a lot less than 10,000 euro in real purchasing terms. So keeping your cash idle in a bank account is not the answer. On the point of life expectancy, humans are living longer and it's not unreasonable to think that a lot of of us will live to see 100. So if you're planning on retiring in your 60s, just have a think about how much cash you need to have in your bank account to fund 40 years of living. Now you won't necessarily have nothing to support you in retirement if you choose to not invest in a pension. Ireland, like many countries around the world, have what's known as a state pension. If you go onto your payslip from work, you'll see that you pay a tax called PRSI, which stands for Pay Related Social Insurance. This tax is collected from employers and working people around Ireland and placed into what's known as the the National Social Insurance Fund. The Social Insurance Fund is made up of a current account and an investment account. The idea is that by paying into this collective fund, the people of Ireland are paying for the retirement of those who are older, in the hope that when they too reach retirement, they'll be supported by the PRSI payments of younger workers. At the moment, the state pension would bag you just under 13,000 euro each year in retirement income. However, 
If we consider that the average Irish salary is 40,000 euro, then the average Irish person with no pension provision outside of the state pension would experience a 68% fall in income between pre-retirement and retirement. Try to visualize that statement. 68% of your income gone overnight. How are you going to maintain your standard of living earning only 32% of your pre-retirement earnings? The simple answer is that you won't. Unfortunately for the state pension, the news gets worse. A recent ESRI study suggested that by 2050, 25% of Ireland's population will be aged 65 and over. That compares to just 14% today. More people in retirement means more people relying on the social insurance fund, and that money has to come from somewhere. The ESRI reported a projected 15 billion euro shortfall between money going into the fund via PRSI payments and money going out of the fund via state pension payments. In order to account for the shortfall, the state has three options, none of which are good. Option one, increase the rate of PRSI tax. Option two, reduce the benefits associated with the state pension. Or option three, extend the retirement age so that people have to work longer in order to be entitled to the state pension. In reality, the solution will likely be a combination of these options, but the message is clear. The state pension is not sustainable and therefore should not be relied upon. What this means is that you need to take action today to ensure that you have a healthy source of income in retirement. So how are Irish people doing when it comes to saving for retirement? Well, according to the Central Statistics Office Pensions Report, 65% of workers have some form of pensions coverage outside of the state pension, meaning that 65% of workers will have some form of additional income in addition to the state pension when they reach retirement. However, this statistic can be deceiving. First of all, this implies that 35% of workers aged 20 to 69 have no pension coverage outside of the state pension, which as we discussed is not an optimal outcome. Second of all, while 65% of workers have pension coverage, that doesn't mean that 65% of workers have sufficient pension coverage. It's not enough to just join a pension plan and contribute a tiny portion of your salary. In the best case scenario, you need to be maximizing your investments into your pension fund to the extent allowed by the tax law. By doing so, you'll accelerate the benefits of compound interest over time and you'll start to see a sizable fund build up in your name. Let's not forget that the tax benefits associated with pension investing is essentially a form of free money in your pocket. Despite this, according to Irish Life, 90% of Irish people are not on track to a financially comfortable retirement meaning that they're likely going to suffer a large fall in income when they retire and they won't be able to maintain their pre-retirement standard of living. Hopefully at this point in the video, you're starting to realize why pension investing is so important. But you might be asking yourself why the government isn't doing more to solve this problem or why they're not informing the people of Ireland of the problem in the first place. Because I think you'll agree, most people don't even realize that this is an issue. The Irish government are planning on introducing a system of auto enrollment for pensions. The idea is that every employee in the country will automatically be signed up to a pension fund and a predetermined percentage of their income will be invested into the pension fund each month. At the moment, employees have to make the decision themselves to invest in a pension. Whereas with auto enrollment, they'll have to make the decision to opt out of the pension. This is an example of what's known as nudge theory, whereby a small change in policy can encourage people to make decisions that are in their best interests. And this type of policy has proved to be effective in the UK. Unfortunately, while auto enrollment was planned to come to Ireland in 2022, that is unlikely to come to fruition. But if you've watched this video and you understand why you need to get started, then auto enrollment makes no difference because you do have the ability to get started today. Every employer in the country is legally obliged to have a facility set up for their employees to allow them to invest in a pension fund. So make sure you have a conversation with your employer today and start making investments to secure your financial future. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video here today. I highly recommend that you check out my video on pensions for beginners as it expands on a lot of the things that we've discussed in this video. If you did enjoy today's video, please do let me know in the comment section below and feel free to ask me any questions you might have on pensions. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.